Okay, welcome to the commentary on family photos with Cameron Smith and uh, Kenny Mylord. Say hello, Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Um, well, let's get started. Uh, this first family here, uh, I, I, I rather like this photo. Um, I like the leather couch, and it's pretty complimentary to uh, the, I guess, the dominant male of the family, his, his uh, gray shirt. Uh, what, what's your take on this, Kenny? Um, I don't know. I'm more taken back by the fact that it's a three-person couch. Yet they're managed to fit five people on it rather comfortably. And you can tell by the smile on other faces that they're rather enjoying themselves. Yes, and, and a comment on, on the three-person couch. I, I'd say that they're, they're, they're definitely fitting in quite well, mm -hmm. not sitting on the couch properly. Nah. But I, that's okay. It, it, I feel like it's a very energetic, it's a fun photo. And, you know, what the heck, squeeze a couple kids on there. Absolutely. And they're small size, that makes it a little more reasonable to fit mm -hmm. more than the, the max, the normal, the expected capacity of this couch. Um, this one I, I found... Uh, to, to be very uh, intriguing, the the red couch really stands out, mm -hmm. and uh, the the father I I rather like his attire. Mm -hmm. The uh, the shoes are a little bit off, but the light color jeans and especially the, the sweater, sweater red, the diamond the, the diamond pattern sweater vest, three pattern the three diamond pattern sweater vest, all slowly fading in color and in contrast with the red couch. Really now, out. now the girl on the far left uh, in the flannel. First of all, not just because of her outfit, but j just the look on her face, the way that her legs are positioned. Mm -hmm. I can tell if she's one of those people. If I met in real life, I don't think I'd get along with them too well. Kid on the far right, though, I think he would be one of those children that I I, I could have a few things in common with him, but particularly I would not care for his presence. I, d I do lot. agree with that, and I feel like. The baby is one of those babies that I can't really share any, uh, you know, views or ideas. Babies with. are babies are always the hardest yeah. to uh, to relate to. Yeah, definitely. The them speaking English has always been a problem. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Okay. Um, this family right here. This is one of my favorite families. Absolutely. Um, I like how none of them are looking at the lens. Yeah. The 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 photographer obviously knew what he wanted in this photo. Yeah. He 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 went for it. He got it. Boom. The picture is wonderful. It's a very candid moment as opposed to sitting there framed, okay, let's take this picture. It's more of a let's take a moment out of real life to see how these families this really they really interact with each other. Yeah, the light colors really complement the the light mood, the the happiness. You can really see it radiating off their mm -hmm. smiles. You know, you can just tell this fam this family's got integrity. Yeah, and this picture does seem to have a lot of history behind it as opposed possibly a family that was once together but now the energy of the new baby brings them all to one yes oh, they can all bond over the new baby and you'll see the uh I, i'm assuming this would be the middle child on the far right um he's rubbing the baby's head and i i'd say that's some sort of ancient ritual uh brought down by the indians rubbing the baby's head to make sure no demons are inside of it um because you know satan could possess this devil uh child and have him suck upon the nipples of the mother and uh, make a rat of the size of about 10 feet come out of her um, uterus. And, I mean, that would destroy her internal organs, obviously. L let's move on. Of course we all know that. All right. Loving, loving the patterns, loving the colors. What Autumn background. This is just, this is simply amazing. I mean, if I may, the kid in the top right corner reminds me of a, a young Richard Trubia, in a sense. Um, along uh, the way he's dressed, you know brings you back to a time and it kind of complements the foliage happening in the background and that of course leads you into the, the you know the patriarch of the family the father and how his beard is so warm and inviting and that's why the children feel like they can all graciously smile as they sit with their family yeah and I'd say that the the, the mother I'd say that her her blue her her just you know the light sky blue uh, turtleneck that she's wearing. I'd say that the the neck of the turtleneck is a symbol for protection. It protects it protects her neck, and it it says, "Do not do not fuck with my neck." That is what it says to me. It stands out. Um, it says it quite well, if I may. Yeah, and I'd also say that the husband. I'd say that he is a metaphor for Al Qaeda. I would definitely say that mm -hmm. without a doubt. Uh, and the and the young girl in the front and the right as. Her clothing kind of stands out from the rest. It's a much more brighter. So your eyes are automatically drawn to her. It's almost as if it's saying, I fit in, but at the same time, I don't. And that's all I have to say about that. Precisely. All right. <coughs> we seem to be having some technical difficulties.
Okay, and uh, this family right here, uh, you know, Kenny, if you got one word to describe it, what, what would you say? I, w- I would go with blue. I would go with gross. Um, father, mother, both children, absolutely disgusting. Mm-hmm. Don't like them. Absolutely. Um, and the and the male of the family, the le- the the father figure, if I may. Yeah, the the leader of the cubs. The leader, the leader of the cubs. And if you if you casually glance out in his footwear, you can see that, um, the t- the tie job done, if I may. Um, it sh- looks like his shoes were tied by like an autistic first grader. And I mean, nothing to disparage the autistic in any way. I mean, I'm sure they're a lovely bunch, but when it comes to the art of shoe tying, they're no they're no Richard Trubia. This right here, I definitely have to say, is my second favorite family. Uh, just like the previous family, it, it, light colors, a lot of happiness, a lot of energy, a lot of focus, just a lot of love going on here. You can just you can just tell it radiates from the the photo. It and I feel like that might have something to do with the children being brought back to the place they were once created. And it seems like there's a like a kind of tight intimacy between the the four, you know, because I would assume they're the children of them. And as the the relaxed pose of the mother and even the father and how they're graciously welcoming the children back into their nest, if you will. Yeah, and if you will, the, the mother is also graciously introducing her foot to the father's penis. Moving on. Uh, this family right here, what can I say about them? Gotta say, the child on the left is making me angry, putting me on the edge a little bit. I feel like he's perhaps the one piece that does not belong with the very different color shirt. He lost, I mean... I mean, if anything, I can say complimentary towards him is he lost those fronts at the right time. It's Definitely like, needs dental work. Definitely. The uh, you can tell though the father uh, probably is not making the money to uh, to afford some some proper dental care. But on the flip side, the father does have a smashing smile. It's just glorious. I mean, you could light up a night sky with that smile. Yes, but you can obviously see his child has not inherited no. that no. lovely set of pearls. No. Um. Probably inherited from his their ugly fucking mother. Uh, yeah, and perhaps I feel like perhaps the daughter on the right could have belonged to another family at some point in time, as she shares definitely virtually, adopted virtually, virtually no similarities between the two parents or even the brother. The, the mom has the whitest skin I've ever seen, and the I don't know the daughter. Something about her eyebrows seems so sinister. And other adjectives. Definitely adopted. Yeah. 